Hello there and welcome to the studio. Today we are going to take a quick look at a question that was asked by one of our followers which says um, what is the little magnifying glass with the 16 parts icon on the automation edit page in the grid view 4. Let's just go to that place. I'll show you quickly. If you come to your grid view, um, this is what he is asking about. This, not this, sorry. This particular one, you know, the part search. That is actually a good tool that can actually be helpful when you need it. Now, how does it work? So let's take for instance, you have a particular program that has a lot of samples on it and it extends beyond bank A. It goes to maybe banks B, bank C, bank D, you know, and so on. Sometimes you can have that kind of setup, maybe just to put all of your uh, maybe samples in the same place and you can easily go there and browse and use it. So now there comes a time when probably when you are working in your grid view, you want to actually access an exact part, like a particular part. The current way that an average person would do it is just to come here and start scrolling, right? You just start scrolling back and forth. Okay, fine. Let me go to that particular part. Let me see. Where is it? You scroll back and forth, right? But the easiest and the fastest way you can do that is when you are in that bank, you click on that particular part. Let's say it is this. All I need to do, once I pressed on it, I can just tap on this. It will take me straight automatically to where that part is. Do you understand? So what it just does is, within the list of all that you have here, it helps you to quickly jump to that particular part that is active. That's what it does. Do you understand? So just tap on it, you see A14. While we're here, if I go to bank C, you can see everything has changed to bank C, right? And then I now move away from bank C and I'm back in bank A. Do you get? Because I'm still in bank C, my pad responds to bank C currently. Then let's say I now hit part 12. I can't see it on my screen. I have to start scrolling up and down for it. Easiest way, tap this, it jumps to C12. And that will just take you there to understand. So that's basically just what it does. It's a handy tool, might not really be used of as often as you think you would, but the part and the place where it becomes very, very interesting is especially when you have your automation you know, pulled up like this, and then you have a little space here to work with. You have a larger space here because of your automation. You can easily use your part search to quickly look at the particular part that is active to just show up here for you and you can continue your automation right so that's basically what it does uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share your thoughts in the comment section below and also remember that we have a new course out on udemy which is the mixing mastery on the akai mpc is for those who want to know how to mix you know from start to finish on their akai mpc so just take a look at it and um, see you in the next video